Today, I am making a fabulous artisan, no need, crusty, crunchy beer French bread. It is a slow, uh, slow rise. Um, you can put it on your counter, let it sit there for anywhere from 8 to 18 hours, depending on what your schedule is, and then you can come back and start making bread, you know, like at your leisure. Now, currently, I let mine usually rise about seven, eight hours, and that's always just plenty for us. So I'm going to bring you down to the bowl and we're going to get started. Okay, in my bowl here, I have 15 ounces of artisan flour. It has a higher gluten content. It is not bread machine flour. It is what's called artisan. This happens to be Bob Bread Mill, which is a very good brand. It's local, so we tend to try to, to, to support them. King Arthur also makes a higher gluten artisan flour. If you don't have that, you don't have to go out and buy it. You're welcome to use regular all-purpose flour. So, if you don't have a scale, I measured mine out 15 ounces, which equals three cups. So you're, you're good to go either way. All right, so the next thing I'm going to add is the salt, a little bit of salt, that's a, about a teaspoon and a half, and about three eighths of a teaspoon of, uh, you know, just yeast, bread yeast. And I'm going to mix this all up. And I, I know that I've had people write in from time to time saying you should not add um, the salt in with your yeast because it's going to interfere with the, the rise. Now, I've not really had that come up with this particular kind of bread. I am, um, you know, I think it might be right, but I, as I said, I've never experienced, you know, anything like that. So I'm gonna make a little well there. And I'm now going to add a tablespoon of white vinegar. If you had cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar, you could use that. I'm going to add some uh, just room temperature water. That is uh, four ounces of that. And then I am adding a dark stout. And what I used today was the Guinness right here, Guinness. And um, you're welcome to use any kind of a dark beer. You can use a regular lager, you know, lighter beer if you prefer. And I suspect if you really didn't want to go with uh, beer, you could use all water, but this is a beer, a beer bread recipe. So I've got here uh, nine ounces of the dark beer. And that is all there is to it. I'm going to stir this up. And, oh, if you could smell that yeast and flour and uh, beer combination, it, you know, I, there's no other smell like it. It's just, it's just amazing. Now, what we're going to get here is what they call a shaggy loaf or shaggy dough. It's uh, a little on the drier side and it, uh, you know, it's not uh, necessarily super wet, but it's not super dry either. And once I have this all mixed together, you'll, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. And I'm just going to work this here until I see, you know, most of that flour absorbed. And, and you know, the other interesting thing, I need a little spoon here. The other thing interesting about um, when you do make bread is that depending on what kind of a moisture day you have, you know, if it's really wet outside, it would affect your dough. And if it's uh, really dry uh, outside or inside your home, there, that looks good. Uh, that would affect also the, um, the dryness of your, your batter. Let's take a look in there. Now this, as I said, it's, it's what they call a shaggy, shaggy dough, and so it's not real smooth. And I am going to now just put some uh, plastic wrap on it. Okay, I'm gonna put some plastic wrap on this. I'm gonna set it in the corner of my kitchen. Uh, it's kind of a nice day here, so I don't feel like I need to put it into a warmer location, you know, other than, than the kitchen counter. If you had a really cold day, what you could do is you could uh, put your oven light on, and that would give you a nice little temperature in there of probably about 70 degrees, and you could set your dough in there, and it would, you know, have a nice warm environment to work with. So I'm going to let this rise seven to eight hours, depending on what my schedule is. And as I said, you could let 
this, you know, go for 18 hours and it would be absolutely fine. I need something to wipe my fingers on. So we're going to uh, let this go for now. And once I have uh, kind of a doubled up size, you know, it'll double in size, uh, we'll come back and I'll show you the next step. And what's going to be so much fun is I am baking this today in my, uh, my sassafras dome baker. And wait until you see that and wait till you see what kind of a loaf we're going to get out of it. It's, it's amazing. All right, we will be back a bit later. We are back and it has been seven hours since I put the, uh, the plastic wrap on my dough and set it aside to rise. So let's go down and we'll take a look and we're going to get to the next step. Okay, I'll take this wrap off, give you a chance to see it. See, look at that. Look at that. It has just about doubled in size. And this isn't a dough that's going to go, you know, voluminous. Um, and I'm just going to take my little tool here, my little Tovalo tool, and I'm going to break down some of that, that gas that's in there, like so. Okay. And then I'm going to show you my beautiful sassafras dome baker. This is what I'm going to be cooking tonight in. And um, I've done a review on this and I will post it for you up above. And this is what I'm going to be baking my bread in. So we're going to look forward to seeing that be used. I am going to go ahead and toss this dough out on. I've got a piece of parchment paper here that I have just sprinkled some flour on. Now this is, uh, at this point, it's, it's kind of a wet dough. I'll show you. I'll show you my fingers when I touch the dough. And that's okay. We don't want it, we don't want it dry. No, no, no. We don't want it dry. Put this aside here. And you'll see my finger. See, it's kind of tacky, right? So I'm just going to dust my hands a little bit in this flour. And just, just really, just toss the dough over on its, on its self to make sure all those air bubbles, or you know, the big ones, are out of the, out of the way. And uh, all I'm going to really do now is shape this dough into a ball, because the uh, the baker, of course, is a, a dome. It's a round shape, and I am going to just. And really, guess what? Guess what, people? That is it. I have my uh, heater, my heater. I've got my oven set at 475, and my sassafras with the lid is in there, and it's preheating. You want to make sure you preheat it. And uh, it's going to probably take mm, 25, 30 minutes probably for it to get good and hot in that oven because that's a high temperature. So I'm going to put this plastic wrap mac on it just to cover it so it doesn't it doesn't get like a you know dried out skin on the top. I will come back and we will go through that process together. And boy, do I need do I need my hands cleaned? All right, we'll see you guys soon. All right, the bread is ready to go in the oven in that wonderful sassafras dome baker. Can't wait to show you that. So we're going to come down to the loaf here. Now it has, uh, it's been about 45 minutes and I'm going to sprinkle it with a little uh, flour. So it has kind of that artisan look and I'm going to give it three, four little cuts. And what that's going to do is that's going to open that loaf up. In fact, I'm going to give it two more. Boom. Boom. And it's going to open that loaf up and it's going to be so crusty and so wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and open the oven Okay, now. it is so hot in there. And I'm just going to drop that in there. And I'm going to put the lid back on. This is how, I just love this uh, uh, baker. It is so easy to use. I'm going to push that back just a little bit. Okay, so we are going to leave that in the oven for 30 minutes. 475 and then at 30 minutes I will take the lid off it and give it another 15 minutes which is going to really help get that crust super crispy and browned off and once the uh, the baking time is done I'll bring you back and I'll show you what the loaf looks like it is ready to come out let's take a look oh oh my gosh look at this oh look at this this is beautiful and it is so hot so so hot look at that is that just beautiful or what okay 
I am going to put this out on a rack and I am going to allow it to cool as, as much as we can let it cool before we want to take a sample of it. And when we're ready to cut into it, we will let you come back and take a look. This bread is done and we're going to cut it open and we're going to see how it tastes. Well, let's Here, give it the thumb test. Yeah, let's give it the thumb test. Mmm. Sounds good. Sounds good. Let's give cut it, her open. Give it a cut. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Shall we taste it? Oh, yeah. Can we need to try this. I want to smell it. Oh, it smells so good. Smells oh, it smells good. so good. Oh. Mm -hmm. You can smell the beer in there. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Oh, wow. Um, that is good. It's such a great recipe mm -hmm. to begin with. Mm. Well, I could eat a ton of that. That is delicious. Mm. Mm. Let me show you the inside here. Mm. And the bottom. I'm showing you everything. And the top. Now, we have got to thank the people at Sassafras. Oh. They have got an incredible product. They do. They do. That dome cooker, and I have the long one, and I will give you uh, links to all of those, and in the description box will be links to those, uh, both of those cookers. It's amazing mm. what it does for a loaf of bread. I mean, really. Mm. Their bread is excellent. Outstanding. The recipe is mm. so good. Mm. And that puts such a nice crust on it. Oh, man. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. You want that? Mm. I'm not proud. Mm -mm. All right. Mm. Well, very good. Excellent. Always, I, I, we've made this bread a number of times, and now I've used that sassafras about six times, yeah. and I'm sold on that sassafras. Exactly. All right. Yeah. Is that it for now? All what a great way to start the first day of spring. Oh, yeah. Wonderful loaf of bread. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching, and we will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.